श्रीमान वेंकटनाथार्य कविताचार्य के केसरी वेदांताचार्य वर्यो में सन्निधत्ता सदा हृदय नमो नारायण ऑन दिस वंडरफुल ऑस्पिशियस डे ऑफ पंगनी उत्तरम विल कंटिन्यू टू एंजॉय स्वामी यामनाचार्यस वर्स नंबर 24 ऑन दिस मोस्ट ऑस्पिशियस डे रामानुजा बर्स्ट आउट इन फ्रंट ऑफ दिव्य दंपति फॉर ड्यूरिंग देयर सेफ्टी सेवा they appeared together in one day of a year swami ramanuja composed the, the delectable gadya trayam sharanagadi gadyam sriranga gadyam and vaikuntha gadyam the sharanagadi gadyam gadya trayam is is very important as it's like a conversation or the dialogue with shri man narayana lord ranganatha the lord assuagingly comfortingly assures ramanuja his devotee of his eternal presence with him and and it talks about the the most beautiful sharanagadi and the dialogue between the jivatma and the paramatma with an assurance reply from mahalakshmi on the on sharanagati and the acceptance of that purushakara prapatti recommendation and then in an outpouring way ramanuja's heart which after having had a beautiful vision darshanam of seti in during that panguni utra seva sharanagati gadyam is so beautiful that it it ramanuja hears the inner voice of permal and assures him that ramo dhirna vibhashate rama never tells this twice once he assures basucha do not worry and then it is it 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 comes out in such a way that it really moves us and makes us completely believe and have a faith maha vishwasam on this wonderful concept of sharanagati and perumal's dhaya and swami yamunacharya talks about in the same way after his performance of sharanagati the next seven verses reinforcing his vishwasam as to why he performed and why he is firm on that so 24th verse nimajjato ananta bhavan navanta स्चिराय मे कूलमिवासी लि लम भगवन्दानी अनुतम पात्र दयाया सो पेरमा अपियर्स टू बी से दैट इन वेरियस बर्थ फ्रॉम टाइम इन मेमोरियल यू हेव बीन इन आस मच एस यू हेव बीन कमिटिंग पापम्स यू हेव बीन कमिटिंग पुण्यम्स आलसो देर आर वेरी गुड डीड्स दैट हेव बीन पर्फॉर्मड बै यू एंड नॉट येट एंजॉयड बै यू so you can enjoy them in future here itself so don't have to rush for moksha so do not cry with just dukkham there are no dukkhams always in your samsara sagaram there are very many ways of granting you pleasures sukham happiness joy here swami immediately responds nimajjato ananta bhavarnavantah chirayame kulam ivasi labdah tvaya api labdam bhagavan nidani anuttamam पात्र ईदम दयाया वो अनंता अनंता इज अ तिरनाम विच इज योगरूढ़ न विद्यते अंत यस अनंत सो स्वरूप गुण विभूति अवतार एव्रीथिंग दर् इज नो लिमिट अनलिमिटेड अनबउंडेड द वन हू इज इमेषरबल हू मैनिफेस्ट एव्रीवेर ईज अनंत सत्य ज्ञान अनंत ब्रह्म यो वेद निगित गुहायां पर मे व्योम तैत्र उपनिषत् सो सत्यम सत्यम ज्ञान अनंत ब्रह्म सो अनंत यारो सो अनंत देश परछेद काल परछेद वस्तु परछेद दर् इज नो वे इन विच हिईज लिमिटेड बै वस्तु देश काल एंड अनंत पदम स्वामी पाष्यकार राज आलो से अनंत पदम देश काल वस्तु परछेद रही स्वरूपमा इन जन्माद्यधिक सो आलो अनंत इज काल इनफिनिट मोस्ट आस्पीशियट्रिब्यूट्स 
सो ज्ञान बल ऐश्वर्य वीर्य शक्ति तेज सौशील्य वात्सल्य मार्दवाज्य सौहार्द साम्य कारुण्य माधुर्य गांीर्य औदार्य चातुर्य स्थर्य धैर्य शौर्य पराक्रम सत्य काम सत्य संकल्प कृतित्व कृतिज्ञत असंख्येय कल्याण गुणगणौग महानव सो असंख्येय कल्याण गुणगणौग महानव अनंत कल्याण गुणगणौग महानव There is no way in which his kalyana gunams can be limited. That is why he is called Anantan. Samastha kalyana guna gana guna karavaso. Swasakti lesho drita bhuta vargaha. Sri Vishnu Purana also refers to. So Ananta refers to everything. Thus, even yani nama ni gauna ni vikyata ni mahatmana. Bhagavad Guna Darshanam says, Sankirtanam Bhagavato Guna Karma Nam Nam. See his and this. Sankirtanam also can be on his gunas, on his namas, which are ananta, which are infinite. His vibhuti, his aishwaryam, his nitya vibhuti, lila vibhuti itself is ananta. Nanto smi mama divyana vibhuti nam parantapa. Even in Gita, he is ananta vibhuti, and hence he is called ananta. Yato vacho ni vartante apra apya manada saha anandam brahmano vidwan. Even that one ananda gunam is. Considered anantam and Veda, Vedas go back and unable to, unable to decipher or describe the kalyana guna of ananda in in a limited manner because it is infinite. Similarly, sakti, tejas, everything is anantam. So that anantam is one side who is manifest everywhere, but I who is deeply immersed, bhavarna vanta. Bhavarnavantah is samsarik anantam, samsara ocean which is itself is vast, deep and no shores anywhere in the vicinity. Samsara arnavamagnanam, vishaya kranta chetasam, vishnu potam vina nanyate, kinchitasti parayanam, vishnu dharmam says, one who is immersed in the carnal desires, sensual pleasures, and who is immersed in the birth and death the cosmic cycle of births and deaths and the samsara sagaram samsarik ocean there is no way that they can reach the shore without the help of sri vishnu who is the ship vanga kadal kadainda madavan he is the one who is the ship for those who are deeply Immersed, getting drowned in the samsaric vast, vast deep ocean. Prate Vishnu abja chakre dadate janman bodhi tatarve charshani indraha. Hey Vishnu, the ones who have the sank chakram on their shoulders are those who are the intellectual ones who will be able to cross the ocean of samsara. The Shruti says. प्र प्रते विष्णो अब्ज चक्रे ददाते जन्मां बोधिम ततर्वे चर्षनींद्राह सो आवारार तुनैन एंड्र अलैनीर खडलुल अलुंदुम नावाय पोल पिरविक खडलुल निंड्र नान तुडंग इन तिरुवाय मडि सो लाइक नावाय लाइक द बोट बोट फार दोस हुआ Koyil puriyale vuttrundu nindri because of the pancha samskaram, because of the baranyasam, we will be able to cross piravip perungadal nindhuvar, nindhar iraivana diseradhar. Those who are able to, those who are surrendered to Piramal would cross the samsarik ocean. Others would not. Similarly, I am, Alavandar says here, I am getting drowned slowly and slowly in this deep vast samsarik ocean at least one who is nearer to the shore may catch hold of the shore or yell for help for the one who is in the middle there is no way he can seek help i am in the middle of the ocean if one is drowned in the well there can be some sort of hold in the wall in the well walls if the hand is extended how can there be any support or escape in the middle of the vast deep ocean it's a it's a wild ocean since you are anantan manifesting everywhere sarvagnya sarvashaktan you alone are the hold for me at the middle of this deep vast ocean there can be none else for some there may be some sort of wood or boat in the middle of the sea 
but there is no assurance that it would also enable one to reach the shore. But you are the means and you are the end. You are the hold and you are the shore itself. You are the boat as well as the destination. There can be no better hold for me than you to escape myself from the samsaric deep ocean of samsara. Please do not give me and tempt me with the pleasures of worldly objects and tempt me to be in the samsara again. Let me get drowned further and further. Don't do that. Even if it is deemed pleasure, as you say, it would still make me drown further. There is no escape. I am blessed to get you as the shore or hold now due to your own grace, due to your own nirhetuka kripa and my crying aloud because of my suffering and being unable to endure the suffering any further. If you give me pleasures, I may leave this hold and go away from the shore. You may get, you may even forget, you forget me and I may forget you. I will further get drowned further more. How can I ever forget now? How can I ever afford to forget now? I do not know when in future will I be blessed with your daya and come at such close quarters. For the one who is getting drowned, if there is a boat in the right and there is a shore on the left, where will he go? Obviously to the shore. So he will not board the boat unless he is a fool and does not know what he is doing. So let me catch hold of your feet and as a shore and not be tempted your offer of pleasures which are considered as the boat, which may not take me to the shore. Okay, by the way, you have been trying to get me for so many birds. You took so many birds. You have been waiting for me to turn towards you for many, many birds of mine. Now, I am due to your own daya and your grace, infinite daya, parama dayalu, karunya, I am turning towards you. Janma janmantaram karte. You have taken so many birds, even avatarams, blessed so many sastras came as so many acharyas and now I am blessed to be caught by Sadhacharya's grace and in your circle. If you leave me, will I even come back? Perhaps, I don't know. Will this most valuable property of yours, this Jivatma, be able to come back to you sooner? Never. I don't think. Do not leave this chance, Sriman Narayana. Your Kalyana Gunas are also innumerable and infinite. Your dhaya is amazingly great. Anuttamam na vidyate uttamam yasma tat. And this naya dhaya nadi has to go to deeper, to, to lower. And it is easy for, for the dhaya nadi to come to me because I am at the lower end, which is easily. So that is why un perarulal yi karayeri, periyalvar says, dhayayaha. Dhayaya means Dayo Dayan Yesham Dukkha Prasahanam Daya Parakya Sanahara means in Sri Rangagadhyam Butter says Daya means one who is unable to see other person suffering and hence Daya. So Daya Hi Nama Swa Artha Nirapeksha Para Dukkha Sahishnuta Daya Hi Nama Swartha Nirapecha Paradukka Sahishnuta One who is unable to see the other person suffering and try to remove that Dukkam is Daya. You are Dayakara. You are Parama Dayalu and hence do not leave this chance. Your Daya is amazingly great. Without that wonderful Guna of your Daya other Gunas will become defects for you. Such Faultless, blemishless Bhagavan, Akilaheya Pratyanigan, Ananta Kalyana Gunaganoga Maharnavan, you are. All these gunas reach you because of your being Bhagavan. Jnana Bala Aishwarya Virya Sakti Tejas define this Bhagavan. Thus, you prove your Daya Guna by taking me to you. Have mercy on me. The Sharnagati that I performed is for your benefit, Pirmal. Get benefited by getting this jiva into your abode, Sri Vaikuntam, Namo Narayana, Kavitarkika Simmaya Kalyana Gunashalini, 
ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ವೆಂಕಟೇಶಾಯ ವೇದಾಂತ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ತಂಜಮಡೈಂದನಂ ರಾಮಾನುಜನೇ ತಂಜಂ